What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bringing the Heat. I'm your host, Scotty G, coming to you from the Equinox Performance Center here in Oklahoma City. We have a great show for you today. And before we introduce a guest, let's just talk about what Bringing the Heat's all about. Bringing the Heat's about a show that's going to get some uh, Major League Baseball players, some ex-Major League Baseball players, ex-NFL players to come in, play some video games with me, try to figure out who they really are, what they do when they're at home, uh, what they what path they took to get to where they got to or where they're trying to get to. We got a little game called the Spicy Six. It's an icebreaker game. I'm going to ask our guests uh, six questions, and if I get them wrong... I have to eat something really spicy. We have a a great, great guest on the show today, Mike Pelfrey. Mike, how you doing? I'm good, Scott. How are you? Doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, Appreciate you uh, coming on the show. Thanks for taking the time, and uh, we're uh, we're really, really glad to have you on. But um, before I start jumping into the questions, uh, for those that don't maybe don't know who Mike Pelfrey is, uh, Mike Pelfrey is was a major league baseball player. Played a lot of years in the majors. Uh, was drafted by the New York Mets. Um, M- Mike, how many years did you spend in minor league ball before you got up to the big leagues? Uh, I was up before the All Star break, uh, my first year. So yeah, a little less than half of a season. And you don't you don't hit for again for those at home that don't know what what that means. Not very many guys do that. It is normally a big mountain climb. Um, you're spending some some quality time down in the minor leagues, trying to figure yourself out, trying to figure your game out. Uh, Mike didn't take very long; jumped right up there. That's what happens when you throw a fastball, you know, 95 to 100 miles an hour. Uh, those guys tend to tend to tend to get up there quicker than than those that are throwing 86, 88. So, um, Mike, again, thanks for coming in. So, went to the Mets, played for the Mets for how many years? Seven years. Seven years, and then went to the Twins for three. For three, yep. yep. And then one with Detroit and finished with the White Sox. So, uh, great career. Um, really excited to get you on the show, like I said. And uh, I'm going to try to break some walls down and try to get to know you a little bit. And uh, I know you and I maybe have a little little friendship already, but uh, we've got some interesting questions. Um, and then we'll just talk, get to hear, and let, let the people at home get to see who kind of Mike Pelfrey is during his time in the big leagues. But let's get right into some uh, Spicy Six. You ready? I'm ready, brother. All right. First question. What is your favorite cheat food? Hold on. Let me answer first. Here's what I went with. Don't feel confident about it. Let's hear it. I'm, I'm going to go for cheat food. I'm going to go grab some kind of chips. So I'm going to say, we'll say Doritos. I almost went Doritos. Gosh dang it. I said Oreos. I said Oreos. <laughs> oh, we're just going to jump right into some spicy food, everybody. Extreme hot salsa. I th- put it up into the mic. Let's see if you can hear the. If I can even get it open. Holy cow. Here we go. Mike, I'm, I mean, I'm going for a huge dip right here. You're going to be able to see it. I wish it. I could see this, yeah. You can see it right there, man. It's huge. Let's see how it goes. Got kick. Just got kick. Not feeling too confident about this. I'm going to go ahead and leave the lid off. All right, question number two. What are you most afraid of? Here's my answer, everybody. I'll explain it in a second. Mike Pelfrey, what are you most afraid of? Well, I don't, I don't know too many things I'm afraid of, but one thing that pops on my mind is snakes. <laughs> Uh, I went totally different route, so I'm eating a chip. I get snakes. I wrote down walks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was pretty good at that, so <laughs> I got pretty comfortable with them. Oh man, you know, just you know, walking somebody, or you know, now as a pitching coach, you know, you got a pitcher out there just can't throw a strike. I'm just sitting there going, Mike Belfries, what are you most afraid of? Is walks. I'm I'm obviously uh, wrong. Snakes is the right answer. Um, I, uh, touche I, on that because the walks, <laughs> the, oh, they're, they're painful. I don't have much hair left, but I will pull my hair out. By the way, I'm 0 for 2. It's a bad day at the ballpark so far, 0 for 2. But uh, I can turn this around quick, you know. I'm trying to trying to get some <laughs> good juice on this. Here we go. Right there. I get you a little bit right there in the back of the throat. 
I think I've said that before. Question number three before we jump into some video games. Who is your favorite superhero? I have no idea. Just going on a whim here. Let's hear it, Mike. Your favorite superhero. Uh, Superman. What? Wow. <laughs> Let me guess, that's not what you wrote? <laughs> That's definitely not what I wrote. I went with Batman. I got half, like half the word right, I guess. Um, you got half right. You know what does Superman do for you? And get to fly, <laughs> which is pre be pretty, pretty dang on cool. And obviously, he's got the uh, the crazy strength to yeah. go with it. That's a good point. Two good qualities. I just like the Batman movies better, to be honest with you. Getting hot. Getting hot. That's a good one to end on. Let's uh, let's jump into some Fortnite, everybody. Drafted 07 or drafted 06? Drafted 05. Oh, man. De de debut in 06. As you can tell, everybody, I did my homework if you didn't read these last questions. Um, and now I'm two years off of when Mike Belfry was drafted. So, um, fantas you were close. You were close. fantastic work by me. You know, nobody does it better. Um, but yeah, so okay, 05, dra drafted um, from Wichita State University, pitched there, and then went ahead and went into the minors system. What would Mike Pelfrey now tell Mike Pelfrey then, right before he's going out to make his first big league start? Well, you know, I always think, you know, you can, you know, you can tell a younger kid when he gets called up that hey, you know, it's the same game you've always played. You need to be, you know, trust yourself being there. But, you know, I really think that unless you're going unless you're going through it, that you don't really, you don't fully trust yourself until you, uh, until you actually get out there and do it, you know. And, I, and you can tell somebody whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh, but it's just different being out there, you know. And, uh, you know, so that's my thing. And I tried, you know, I tried to take that role as, you know, as I got time and I saw young guys come up and, Hey, brother, breathe, you know, go out there and breathe. And, hey, it's the same game you've played your whole life, you know. But, you know, they always, you know, you had the third deck and you had, you know, you had, had 50,000 fans in there. And, you know, it's hard to stay within yourself and it's hard to, you know, hard to trust yourself. Do you, fully. I mean, obviously, I would think you would, but do you remember who your, who was your first start against? Uh, the Florida, the Florida Marlins <laughs> uh, in, 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 in New York. Um, so it was pretty, pretty cool little, pretty cool atmosphere, and uh, you, know, you know, I remember more than anything because we scored, you know, we scored uh, 17 runs that day. We won, ended up winning 17 to three. So, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good run support in your debut. Yeah. So if you didn't, if you don't, uh, if you don't win with that, you probably, you probably don't stay around very long. Uh, no doubt, but uh, yeah, I was gonna say that that run support's got to make you kind of probably relax a little bit and you know let you set, settle in. Well, it does, but you know, you know that first day, I, I, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing like it, and, and you know, I think we could have scored 100 runs, and I don't think I would, my nerves would have calmed, you know. And, right. You know, I end up throwing 105 pitches or something in five innings, and hell, I was happy I got through the fifth. You know, and it was like the <laughs> quickest game of my life, but in all reality, it probably took three hours to get there. But it seemed really, really fast in my head because <laughs> the, the speed of the game was so quick. And right. You know, I. I remember, I remember being on the mound and and uh, my legs shaking just from being so nervous, you know, and not being able to feel my body. But incred incredible, obviously incredible, incredible experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, not everybody gets to do that. Not everybody gets to do it that fast either. But uh, and you know, you're sitting there going, hey, you know, it's the same game, you know, you've always played, but uh, probably definitely wasn't the same lineup that you've always faced, you know, either. You so. know, you know, I, le I learned those guys are pretty good <laughs> on the other side. So, uh, you know, I, maybe more than I would like to have learned. But oh my um, gosh! But yeah, those guys are, you know, obviously pretty different. And like I said, there's nothing you can really do to, to you know, they tell you. I mean, you were, in, you know, you on you were on the side of it that it's hard to simulate game speed and stuff like that. But it's just it gets really really quick, really fast. And you know, like I remember the. There was a ground ball to short, and I turned around in second. Next thing you know, they were already throwing across the first, and I went, "Holy smokes!" <laughs> so my head, my head was spinning on a ground ball to short that I actually got a guy out on. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. 
Did, did you enjoy pitching in New York? You know, I did. Uh, it took a little. It took a little bit of time. You know, <clears throat> coming from, you know, coming from Kansas and and uh, you know where I think that, you know, I don't ever remember any anybody saying anything bad about me. And then, you know, somebody saying something bad about me every day there. You know, <laughs> is video games a, a way of release in pro ball, or do you, or the pro ball guys kind of stay clear of the video games? You know, uh, when I was when I was first coming up. Um, every everybody played. Um, I think it was pretty, uh, you know, pretty common. Guys would bring on the hotel. You know, a lot of the younger guys do it now. I think as you start to get older, uh, guys don't seem to do it as much. Um, you know, as they get older, and they probably spend more time with their families. More time with the families, and you know, they have wives to answer to too, uh, which. You know, obviously, wife and kids, they, they seem to cut into video games and <laughs> golf and, you know, whatever else you got going on. What are your other hobbies? We got some people. We got some people here. We're got kind of quiet. Yeah, no, trying to focus that's here. exactly what we're going to do. It's time It's time to uh, drop some people here. Guy running across right there. They do look like they're builders, though, which kind of scares me. Got one. Got, I don't know. I'm not that good, so this, uh, this dude just kind of... I don't know what I'm trying to do. This is a debacle. Hey, you want this, Gers? I'm dancing. Is that on purpose? No, I'm down. A dude threw a... Dancing bomb on me. Oh boy. Oh, I missed that. Oh boy. Oh gosh, there's I'm so much. There's so much silence going on now. We're trying to hear what's going on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I got you up for nothing. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's got the pump shotgun legendary, you know, of course. Unreal. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be a little better next time. Let's game. uh let's get let's just jump right into another one. So I asked I asked you who uh who reminded you who was the best kind of video game guy. Nobody really popped out. Was it best best guy you played golf with? You know, there are so many so many good golfers. Um, Justin Verlander comes out. Um, you know, I played with him one day. How and, good? Uh, Are we talking scratch? Are we talking? Well, I played with him in Lakeland one day, and he shot a 68. Oh boy! So uh, I heard that's pretty good, from what I heard. Uh, so he shot a 68. Um, Aaron Hicks. Really? Uh, who, who? He's on my fantasy still, team. Well, he, so he was, the story is he was a scratch golfer um, at 16, and his dad wanted to play golf was always the story that people talked about, but he was, he was legitimately, would, would drive it, would drive it 360 yards. Oh my gosh. I mean, and it, and it, is that and good? It's a, it's a big, <laughs> it's a big uh, hook and it's, it's, it's really, really high and he stands like with his feet really close together, which I think you're supposed to, but it's uh, it's pretty impressive. So now we go to Minnesota. How was that? Give me a little, give me a little life of Minnesota. You know what? I, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed Minnesota. Uh, um, really, really nice city, really clean city, um, and you know Minnesota took care of you. You know, which, which took care of the players. I'm gonna die. Sorry. You know, first class, first class, first class, first class, first class organization. I knocked a dude with the grenade there. I don't really know how I did it. He's shaking you. Get him, Mike. Let's see how this goes. I think you got him. I sure did, Scotty G. Look at that. Mike Pelfrey to the I'm rescue. Gonna, 
That's it. That's me. <laughs> I believe there is a uh, video out there of you wearing a uh, a uniform that definitely doesn't fit you, Mike. Uh, you wanna you wanna talk about that? Yeah. So <laughs> that's actually Brian Dozier's, which I told him that was the first time a man wore that jersey. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he was he was a. Uh, uh, he was one of my he was one of my favorites and an absolute uh, pretty good dude and we had a really we had a really really uh, we had a really good relationship but uh, so you yeah he's, a, he's you come, a, he's you come out one. you but come I, out of the locker room we, and, and you're wearing his uniform yeah so we were so we were loose and and uh, we're in Toronto and I'm just trying to like I'm just trying to keep it loose really for everyone and uh, you know, is all I'm is all I'm really trying to do, and just kind of messing around. And uh, there's a llama for you right there. Oh yeah, I love me a llama. Um, so I'm just trying to keep it loose, and and uh, so I get this jersey and um, put it on, and get some eye black, and try to look the best to him. And I go out for pregame warm up, and you know he's running, and I just kind of mimic him. <laughs> in, a, in a jersey that's definitely too small and you know obviously he's I don't know he's probably five seven he'd probably tell you he's taller than that but he's not uh, and for and, you those uh, that don't know Mike Pelfrey six, seven there it is he's a little more athletic than me yeah. so he yeah. looks a little better than me but he works you know I mean? he works I mean, out he works out and you're like you know the captain of the dad bods and uh yeah I kind of, <laughs> I kind of look like Gumby and <laughs> He's, he's an athletic five seven guy. It's pretty. It's a pretty good match. And you know, you you wore the uniform well. I hope uh, I hope somebody's googling it right now and and checking out that video of Mike Pelfrey wearing uh, Hunter Dozier's uh, or Brian Dozier's, right? Brian Dozier. Yeah, Brian, Brian Dozier. Dozier yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, his uniform. Uh, it's it's pretty hilarious. Just so you know, Mike, the spice the spice levels kind of. My, my I mean, my mouth is tingling. I'm not gonna lie, it's tingling. Get up here and I'm, let me get this you know, XP. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'll, I'll make sure you miss some more questions there at the end. And <laughs> you can maybe suffer a little bit more. How many people? 13 people left. I see a guy right here. Yeah, right. Right by these cars. Yeah, right there. Oh, those that went up fast, Mike. That went up fast. I know. A little, little, little too quick. A little quick, too quick for us. You know what? I oh up, my gosh. I just got smoked. Oh my God! So did I, right here. Oh, Gersh, they just jumped on something. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is oh, this is taking forever. I was pot committed. I was pot committed. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not mad at you. I see. I get it. <laughs> Let's go one more. Let's go one more. Ready up. You always hear about the, you know, the really good stories. You never hear really about the bad stories. But, you know, you had some, you had some good stories, and then you you had a little bit of uh, like a little another little nerve. You had to go in and fix some nerves, right? Yeah, yeah. It's 2012. I had Tommy John, um, you know, which I, you know, I would say that I was never the same guy after, you know, um, away from that. And then, then, you know, I came back and I was pitching in spring training. Um, oh, some dudes behind me at uh, eight and a yeah, half I got, months. I got guys all around me. Um, sorry, I got distracted here. Yeah, I did too, so don't worry. I feel like he's about to throw this thing on me. I'm coming back to you. I'm trying to help you out. Unless you got something. Not to. Damn, it's good. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Where did that, that come from? Here. Hold on. Watch out. Wow. 
Wow, Mike Pelfrey, happened. everybody. So what's, I don't know what happened there. I just kind of blacked what, out. What's so. the, what's, we got to give the Twitter, Twitter handle shout out to Mike Pelfrey right there. Give it, give it right there after that little. Uh, you want this gun or no? You didn't want it? Okay, I'll take it. There's one over here too. Here. Here. By the way, we, we're gonna. If we don't go, we're gonna be in trouble here. I hope oh, that gosh. guy sees that and realizes realizes that he just lost to me. Oh gosh. So we have to run. We're gonna be in trouble here. Oh gosh. The storms are booking. Oh gosh. I was, I was, oh my. Somebody's, I'm screwed. I don't like the way this is going here. I just died. I fell. I fell to my death. And I can see the. Uh, I gotta take this real quick. I think I could take. 19, 13. I think you're gonna get through it. I'm not, I didn't make it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I was on the line. Did you watch that? <laughs> <sighs> what a rough way to end it, Scott. It's not good. It's not good for the viewers. You know, that's entertainment. I don't care who you are. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's return to lobby. Let's get some spicy questions going again. Is cheesecake a cake or a pie? It's a cake. No, did you write it? You hadn't wrote it yet, have you? <laughs> we did you finish writing it? I, I screwed that up right there? You screwed that up right there. All right, you ready? I'm ready. What is Mike Pelfrey's favorite holiday? Don't answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting this time. Mike Pelfrey goes with? I was gonna say, I should probably say New Year's just because 2020 has been a pretty rough year for everybody. <laughs> say new looking forward to new year but uh christmas is my favorite holiday and obviously the family side of it so christmas is my favorite holiday boom at one time i had to order mike pelfrey shoes and let's see if i can remember this what size shoe does mike wear scott you remember i'm six seven so make sure you guess really big so you're saying not a nine and a half <laughs> that might be big for some people all right i wrote it down 13. Gosh dang it. I'm so you bad at this it. game. I put a big old dip on it. Pretty sure I just got some on the hoodie. Worst candy bar of all time. You know what? You're probably going to be right here, and I'm trying to think of something that's bad here. <laughs> uh, You're trying to get. I like candy. I don't know a soul that likes this one. What do you got? I'm throwing this out because I can't think of anything else, so you're going to have to eat something, probably. <laughs> Baby Ruth. Oh, my God. Baby Ruth's are great. What were you saying? Milky Way. Dude, I love Milky Way. Oh, my God. I, you're the first person I've ever met that likes a Milky Way. Oh man! Are you serious? Yeah. You're you're making this yeah. up. You're absolutely 100% acting right now. No, I like Milky Ways. I'm in on those. The next time you buy a Milky Way, I want a selfie of you and a Milky Way at the counter of 7-Eleven. Hey, Scotty G. Just to let you know um, from our podcast, I just want to show you this. This is that Milky Way that we talked about, and I already opened it up. And just for, uh, let me open it up here even farther. Just to let you know, man, that you said it was the worst uh, candy bar on earth. I told you I love these things, and you told me I was the first guy ever. Well, I wasn't lying. We got caramel just dripping out of my mouth. Scott, this is delicious, man. You're absolutely 100% acting right now. As I sit here and just suck down a ghost pepper. Closing her up for the night. So AJ Salsa, again, I recommend it. Extreme hot, good flavor, good spice. Um, gonna rank it for you right now. A 7.6 out of 10, 7.6. Mike, appreciate you being on. Been a lot of fun, some good laughs good memories that I don't have at breakfast or ordering you shoes. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed it as well. It's good time, good laughs, like you said. So uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Again, thanks for watching Bringing the Heat. Everybody out there, be kind on and off the headset. Good night. <laughs>